I know you've asked yourself this question at least a handful of times. You look at yourself in the mirror every time a woman's friend zoned you and you think, why is it that women don't like me? Why can't I just connect with women like you're seeing everybody else do? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're not alone, bro. You're not the only one going through this. You're not the only one acting desperate because at the end of the day, this is what's messing you up. You act desperate every time you encounter a woman and you're not even noticing you're doing it. That's the problem. You have to realize something that when a woman even smells a hint of desperation with your approach, with how you talk, with how you engage with her, automatically she shuts you off because she starts thinking, why is he so desperate? Why is it that he doesn't have options and I'm gonna be the only one to give him attention? Women are social creatures. Actually, we all are social creatures and we end up doing group decisions. So this is why when you start having girlfriends or when you start talking to girls that you're, you're, you're friends with multiple of them, you realize that you're attracted to other women compounds, it becomes easier because women will notice that you've been socially selected already, therefore, they're gonna believe in their head, whoa, if other women are talking to him, he must have the qualities of a great guy, and therefore, they then proceed. It's a group decision, but because you don't have girls, you act desperate in your tonality, with your body language, with your approach, with how you text her. That's why she don't, that's why, that's why every time you connect with one, they automatically turn off. Number two, your appearance is pretty blah. Like it's pretty basic. Like you don't even try, bro. Like I, I don't think I don't think most of you just understand the power of visual perception. You have to realize people are more shallow than you think. People make micro judgments on you every millisecond, and it's crazy that society tries to take this out of us, but it's biologically ingrained in us. It's part of our survival mechanism to make micro decisions on people. Is he a threat? Is he trustworthy? Is he mature? Like all these judgments happen in half a second. When you look like a bum, that's automatically what she's thinking. He looks like a bum, he's a threat, he lives in his mom's basement. She's making all these judgments in half a second and before you've even opened your mouth, you've already been rejected. This is why it happens with everyone. You need to start paying more attention to how you dress and how you present yourself, both with your grooming and your clothing. And look, bro, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible because when I sit down and I design our essentials collections, my whole point is to give you basics, those essentials that you can wear, and it keeps it simple, bro. Like, if you look at our stuff, I, I try to make it as comfortable as possible. That way, when you throw it on, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're always on point. And that's where I wanna get you. I don't want you to have to be spending 10, 20, 30 minutes in the morning trying to think, what am I gonna throw on today? I want you to get up, grab two pieces, and know that they're always gonna look good and make you look like your best self no matter who you're meeting. If you need to revamp your wardrobe, if you dress like a bum, you have to click that link down below. Check out our essentials collection. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna design two outfits for you right now. I'm gonna design two outfits that I guarantee will look good on everyone. I'll do a dressy fit with our tailored pants and our long sleeve polo shirt. That outfit, automatically you'll look money, high status, etc. And then I'll do, let's do a casual fit. Let's do our tech cargos and our crew neck sweater. It's a nice casual fit, nice day outfit. So I'm giving you two outfits, a day casual fit, a little dressier of an outfit. You have two basic outfits that you can mix and match as you please. And if you click the link down below and buy them together, I'll give you 30% off. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below. Three, you're always negative. You're the type of guy that's always complaining about life and how life owes you, your boss owes you, everybody has done you wrong. Shoot, you might even hate women. You might say all women are weird. You might say all women are the problem and because of modern women, I can't find love today. Buddy, you have to understand, when you have that mentality, it is so much easier to look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you're the loser than to blame everything and everyone around you. Like, the, it is statistically impossible for everyone on every aspect of your life that you're losing at to be wrong and you to be right. You have to take that hard look in the mirror and realize, yo, shoot, maybe I am the loser. I am the problem. If you're constantly negative, no girl's gonna wanna connect with you. Four, your intentions are turning her off. See, if your only goal every time you talk to a woman is to get her to like you or to get her to bed, you're gonna show your hand with your speech, with how you come across, with your body language, and that's why she sees you as a creep. You're coming on too strong. She can, she can sense those intentions from a mile away, which is why you need to learn how to talk to women 
just learn how to talk to people. Forget just talk, learn how to talk to people because when you approach a conversation with a girl you actually like, you don't want to just show your hand and be like, yo, I want to bed you with your body language. You want to have a normal, comfortable conversation with her where she can actually trust you. So to do this, go out and talk to more girls. I've told you all, I've told you how easy this is to do. Go for day pickup, libraries, malls, coffee shops, Anywhere where there's a congregation of women, yo, start talking to them. And, and if you're just starting, start approaching the girls that you don't even find physically attractive. The ones that you don't even think they're attractive or you care if they like you or not, talk to those. And the more comfortable you get talking to them, you're gonna realize that you're gonna take that same talent and use it with attractive women. Number five, you're just shy, bro. Like, the reason no girl connects with you is because you're not connecting with any of them. Most of you think that women are just gonna rain on you or, they're, or the love of your life is just gonna bump into you and it's gonna be happily ever. You have to put in the work. Like, bro, nothing in my life has ever been given to me. Everything you have to put in work for, including the girl that you would like to. Not only working on yourself, but pursuing and finding that right girl with the morals and the standards that you are looking for in your life. If you're just sitting in your room because you're scared to connect with people, I promise you, you'll never connect with anyone. And finally, number six, you're just weird, bro. If you've noticed that you cannot connect with girls, you're 22, 23, 25, sure, you're, you're pushing 30, and you still have not successfully connected with a girl, you're weird. And it's not everyone else, you've lacked social conscience. You have to realize that if you've been extremely shy, if you've been doing all these mistakes your entire life, you've dug yourself into this creepy hole that anytime you talk to a girl, you come across as a creep, but this is not a bad thing. See, like anything else in life, when you realize a problem, that's the best thing you can possibly do because then you can fix it. And what I like about social problems, i.e. being a creep, is that they're easily fixable. See, if you were just ugly, that sucks because we're gonna have to work a little harder. But when it comes socially, it just takes practice. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of effort, especially if you're a shy or an introverted guy, but I promise you, it's something that you can fix. And the more you force yourself, I've told you this before, if you're starting, if this is you, you realize, yo, this is me. It takes drastic change. I need you every single day to go out and connect with one girl. That should be your goal. For the next month, you're gonna go out and talk to one random girl. The first 10 to 15 interactions will be the most awkward thing in your life. You're going to feel like an idiot. Number 16, number 17, the 20th interaction, you're gonna notice you're gonna loosen up. By 21, you're not gonna care if they reject you. By 30, you're gonna feel a little bit more comfortable. You do this every day for a year, I promise you that social awkwardness, that weirdness that you feel is gonna be almost gone.